Hi, I'm here with uh, David Anders, also known as PRP Plague on IRC. That's how I knew you first. <laughs> so, what do what what are you showing here? I have uh, the uh, panda board uh, along with a beacon board attached, uh, as well as the new Flosswater Two JTAG debugger. Oh, it's new. Okay. Uh, the Flosswater Two is uh, new this week, and uh, it actually adds uh, 30 megahertz support. Adaptive clocking. Uh, it's got a brand new, nice style case for it and uh, open OCD support. Uh, the Beacon Board is an educational board that we're uh, just now releasing. It's basically got an RGB LED and a seven segment display on it to help uh, folks who are transitioning from the Adreno and microcontroller environment to uh, learn how to bit bang and do pin muxing on the uh, on, okay. Does it work on both Panda and Beagle? It works on uh, Beagle, Beagle XM, Panda, and uh, technically, if you're good with the soldering iron, it will work with Snowball and uh, the Quick Start. Oh, perfect. Awesome. All the Linaro supported boards. So, what do you show on the screen here? Uh, basically, uh, uh, showing how quickly we can boot uh, directly from um, uh, uh, US, uh, USB on the go port. Uh, if you notice, the Panda board doesn't have uh, a SD card mounted. Uh, this was a, a quick, easy way to boot up and start doing development. If you're traveling or you're in an environment where you don't necessarily have a wall wart to work with, or you're testing kernel uh, changes and you want to rapidly go through and test your modifications without having to boot up an entire distro or uh, to a point where you just need to test a few items, this works perfectly and you can boot under two seconds to up to a prompt. Uh, so how does it work? So you're powered by the, 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 the laptop, right? I can Correct. see this. Through oh. a USB OTG. Well, let's do an example here. We're using the uh, USB boot utility uh, by Brian Swetland. And what we're going to do is uh, go ahead and issue the command to start up. It'll let me know that it's waiting to see a, a, an OMAP4 device on the bus. Right. I'm going to go ahead and plug into the uh, Panda board. And as I plug in, it will detect it and go ahead and transfer up a Z image that also has an init RAM FS. Awesome, through JTAG. And as you can see in the background, I've already b uh, booted the kernel. Fantastic. Mounted wow. the init RAM FS. And there you had are. A prompt. Wow. So no bootloader, no ROM code. Well, it does have an A boot. Uh, basically, it is a super, super small X loader. Okay. Uh, variation of uh, U boot, and uh, uh, it's just enough to load the Z image and continue booting. Wow. That's impressive. Effectively, I'm glad I have one. <laughs> you gave it one to me. <laughs> We're hoping to give uh, some more away to some of the universities and hacker spaces. Um, the board itself, the beacon board itself, is uh, sold through Tin Can Tools for $20, and, but we're intending to do more educational devices to help people who are transitioning from microcontrollers and uh, to help them get used to embedded Linux. Hey, that's good. So tell me more about Tin Can Tools, the things you, you make. Tin Can Tools, uh, basically what we do are accessories and open source tools. Um, we've done uh, the Zippy, with, uh, which is an expansion board for the Beagle. Uh, we've done the Trainer board, which is actually a prototype and experimentation board for the Beagle and Beagle XM. Uh, it has an AVR on board, GPIOs at uh, voltage levels that uh, most people who are working with SparkFun products can work with them. Uh, we also have done uh, the Flosswater and Flosswater 2, which are USB to JTAG. And so we have some more products that are coming out soon, but uh, uh, we'll, we'll see how those go. There's something you forgot to mention about your, your boards and schematics, perhaps? They're all open. All, all the drivers, information, PCB layout, and schematics are open. And uh, we support open tools. Uh, of many types, including SigRock, which is a uh, open source logic analyzer. Uh, we're all open source friendly, support OpenOCD, and all the product lines. So everything that we do, open source. So if you, if you, people with the viewing this video are looking for 
ways of doing development work, uh, embedded system development work with open source tools, they can get they get to you guys for the hardware and you'll be given links to free software solutions as well. Absolutely, and uh, again, we also support uh, the uh, elinux.org wiki. All of our documentation is up there, and we uh, encourage people to uh, add information and work with the li uh, wiki to add additional information. Um, is, is this going to be used by Lenaro teams, some, or some of it at least? It's, it's my understanding that uh, we're talking to Lenaro uh, about doing utilizing these for uh, board validation, uh, U-boot development, uh, as well as doing some kernel level development to diagnose uh, uh, more complicated issues in the kernel. So uh, at this stage we're still talking to them to see if we can get uh, something going on that. Okay, perfect. Thanks Dave. Anything else you would like to say? Uh, thanks I for see having me. <laughs> Bandaboard stickers, and um, yeah, that's that was the the set. Um, computer, that's not from you. <laughs> Side sweater, Bandaboard, and the beacon board, as you can see here, which is cool. That directly attaches to a Panda or a Beagle XM or a Beagle Beagle, perhaps um, the Beagle Beagle bone as well. Uh, the Beagle Moan will be a slightly different. We, we do have a revision of the uh, beacon that will wor work with the Beagle Moan. And we're anticipating actually uh, making a transition board that will go from the Beagle Bone and simulate Adreno headers. So you'll be able to use existing Adreno shields and development protocols wow. on the Beagle Bone. Awesome. Thank you very much. Thanks, Dave. Thank you.